I portray South African colored people in the way they should be portrayed and not the stereotype. I, I think that uh, oh, did I get a clap for that? Yeah, yeah. nah. This uh, this podcast is big on on that type of uh, feel like uh, supporting the right. colored people. Uh, how many? How many? How many? How many people do you know that are gangsters? <laughs> Handful. Yeah. I know. My best friend growing up was twenty uh, eight now. So yeah, but we, we, it's it's an anomaly, bro. <laughs> sounds like it's a, a, most of the time your family, your mother, your father, your sister, your decent people trying to put their kids through school just like everyone yeah. else. It's, if you took colored people, South African colored people, and you match them up to any other culture in the country, the same proportion of gangsters in those cultures. Why has it become so much the truth with us? It's like people believe that. That stereotype just feels a little bit more real, or maybe it's just from my perspective. So I've mm-hmm. always felt like, I'm like, no man, my, my, both my grannies were domestics. My grandfather was a bus driver. My other grandfather worked at a bakery. I, th- I think that negative parts are part of our culture, but we are more than that. Also. Absolutely. And, and there's a lot more, more than that, <laughs> yes. than the, than yeah. the, part, the, the negative yes. parts. So like, like, I mean, like, like people like you, like what you do, you're a comedian and stuff like that. There's a lot more positive people doing positive things than, than, than or colors yeah. for, that, the, yeah. the mat, for that matter, doing po- positive things. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes we try to promote colored people on this on this mm-hmm. podcast a lot that is that's sort yeah. of why we built this thing and and we we, we do athletes we do this hip-hop we do, we've had hip-hop people on here comedians mm. but also sometimes it feels like we crabs in a bucket man and i've got to bring that 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 that, yeah. that, that part of it like and especially in cape town mm-hmm. more so than in johannesburg like mm. like i think that's like one of our biggest like problems like even yeah. like you know mario Yes, I Mario's know. been trying to build something for so long, and I, I, every time I tell him you're doing dope things and those mm. things, but there's also like I feel this he can get a lot more support than what he's getting right now. Yeah, yeah, um, you know, you, and that goes. And around. it's almost like a, it's a crabs in the bucket thing. Like they don't want to. Some people is there is there a certain part that they want to see him grow beyond what they they did, or is it not in handing the baton on to the next person to let them grow it more? I I think that we are very hurt people and i think that we've gone through a lot and it, i think that it's very difficult sometimes i feel it in myself sometimes why i go why isn't why isn't that me or why isn't that jealousy. happening to me jealousy is a very real thing humans have and i don't think that's in it i i think it it definitely is a thing and i think that they we can support each other a lot more but i think that we come from a lot of trauma, man. And and sometimes we don't identify, it's not just the crabs in a bucket thing, it's because we don't, we identify the thing that, that ugliness inside is, is a, comes from a hurt place. Like I didn't have that opportunity. You know what I mean? So like, I don't know how to process my feelings around this. So, ah, you know, then, then it, it manifests in something ugly and we pull each other down. It's definitely a thing.